See that tongue? He's using that tongue and he can detect that there is some goodies in here. Watch, he'll go in the water now. He tries and hunts those fish too, those cichlids. Be careful. Oh, you guys should see Matt's face right now. This guy, watch this. Right up, right up. Come on. Come on. So I want to see them doing everything lizards should be doing. It's amazing. I'm getting lizard kisses. Hey buddy, that's my boy Slinky. He knows what's coming today. It's uh, feeding time at Slinky's home. And I love this guy, as you guys know. And there are many new subscribers and I just wanted to say hi and thanks for the subscription guys. I appreciate you guys taking some time to hang out with us. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna hang out with Slinks. He is a big Asian water monitor. For those of you who've been following, oh, look at that. He saw that blue and he got excited, Matt. That's pretty scary stuff sometimes. He's an Asian water monitor. I've had him now for about seven or eight years. He was given to me by my friend, Joey Casey, who had him up in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. See that tongue? He's using that tongue and he can detect that there is some goodies in here. Uh, so basically he was living in Atlanta, Georgia and he was getting large and he was no longer a good house pet. Uh, as he grew too large, was knocking things off tables and so on. Yes, they let him free roam at a time, but they were worried about him causing a fire. Oh, we don't want to get slapped as you guys know. When you're behind Slinky, you're gonna get a, a beat and... Whoa! So, really cool stuff. Why am I doing this video? I wanna show some of the new subscribers, Slinky, because he's awesome and he's amazing. And I also wanna get in here, we built this enclosure with our friends at Aquascape and my buddy Jerry Wolf to really give him the proper habitat to do all the cool things that a monitor lizard should do. Are you a little nervous right now, buddy? Oh, you guys should see Matt's face right now. Watch this, Matt. You wanna see a lizard lose interest in you really quick? How about this? Watch this. Watch this. We got some squirrels. Squirrels. We got squirrels that my friend, Mr. Arrington, that's Rob Arrington's dad and uh, Blue Gabe's father, gets me squirrels and Slinky really loves them. He shoots them with a non-lead bullet. So we're able to feed off these squirrels, but that's not all I have to feed them today. You see how he's just choking that down? Monitor lizards, uh, much like the Komodo dragon, which is a monitor lizard. Uh, this Asian water monitor is the second largest lizard on earth. Slinky could potentially reach eight foot. Um, he is a heavy body terrestrial animal he can take to the water. Look at that tail Slinky has. I want you to pay attention to that tail. It's laterally compressed, which means that it is a great rudder. When he's in the water, he swims very serpentine-like, undulating his body in an S position, uh, and that's what propels him through the water, that tail. Look at this, we've got chicken. We've got some chicken here. I just want you to see, I like him to work for his food. This is a large enough enclosure that I can kind of get him to do these things. Watch this, he's gonna try and arrange that thigh bone. So I broke the thigh bone actually before I brought it over here so that he could easily swallow it. Isn't that great? So these guys are found from Southeast Asia, uh, from India, all the way through Southeast Asia into Indonesia. Uh, very large range and they have been found out at sea. This is how these animals have colonized new places. They've kind of come out, uh, they can swim between island and island, similar to Komodo dragons. That's how they found their island of Komodo. Oh, he but likes these my guys, blue shoes. Your blue shoes are a little confusing yeah. to him. Blue or white shoes tend to get him excited, but he's a smart animal and he realizes once he figures it out with his tongue, that those aren't necessarily something that he wants to eat, but your movement is what's attracting him at the moment. So look at him, he knows there's food still in the area and he's using that tongue and he puts it into that Jacobson's organ and watch this guys, watch this, right up, right up, come on, come on, come on. There he goes, the last squirrel. I don't mind him using my, my leg as a ladder. I love this guy. Um, really, really beautiful lizard. And when you keep them in a large enclosure like this outdoors, it is absolutely the best thing for the animal. Now, so many monitor keepers will keep these animals. Uh, they keep them indoors up north and it's doable. The animals tame down uh, and they are great. You know, they're great animals as long as they have a lot of space. It can be done up north, but it is more challenging. Uh, the one thing I will say is so many monitor keepers work on taming their animals, right? And they, they live up north and they tame these animals up north, right? But here's what's funny. Slinky was a little further north than me and he was, quote, tame. When I got him and put him outside, any lizard that is tame from being indoors, 
uh, once you put that animal outside, it reverts immediately uh, back into being uh, unapproachable. Um, and it, it's something about that natural sunlight being outside. Maybe they feel a little bit more vulnerable. They realize they're no longer in a secure area. So they kind of revert and you have to work with them all over again, uh, which is what's happened to Pinky, who came as a tame monitor lizard. It was habituated by Kevin McCurley from Nerd. And uh, she's kind of went through this kind of adolescent phase where she was whipping me, biting at me and all this stuff. But now she and I are once again becoming friendly. So look at this. He's really, he's got three squirrels in him. We fed him before this video actually. So he's got three squirrels and one chicken thigh and leg in his belly. Their bellies can extend, they can really distend. So much like Komodo dragons, they'll gorge themselves if they find a large meal. And then they won't have to eat again for quite some time. Monitor lizards are extremely active though. So they are animals that are gonna wanna eat more than your traditional reptile because of their activity levels, because they are from very hot parts of the world and because they're also very, very uh, intelligent. And that little, the little brain power that these guys have, uh, you know, translates into energy. Look at him just sniffing around. You see how we trust each other here? I just ball up my fist. I learned that from Kevin McCurley. This way, if he does make an accidental bite, yeah, he's trying to whip me because he saw me move. If he does make an accidental bite, he won't remove a finger because he is certainly capable of removing a finger. So I just be calm with him, hang out. You can see he's growing, he's shedding. Also, I want you to pay attention to, uh, there's a little fold on his body here. And that fold is something you can use as a way of knowing whether or not this animal is overweight or not. They have that fold because they basically, they need to expand when they have a lot of food in their bellies, which is what we've just done, right? But you can see he still has this fold. So he still has more he could distend. If you see a monitor lizard that has not eaten but and does not have that fold, that's a sign that that animal is a little bit too chunky that it's holding on to too much fat. We don't want fat animals. We want nutritiously or we want healthy animals that have been fed a nutritious diet. And because Slinky can move around at his leisure here in this environment, watch, he'll go in the water now. He tries and hunts those fish too, those cichlids. Ooh. Careful, you keep Ooh. moving, don't, but listen. Yeah, yeah, it's you, the, uh, What did you do wrong? I rustled the grass. You rustled the grass, but animal. you also backed up quick. Yeah. And you got his attention, but Slinky is smart. Slinky knows, like, wait a minute, he can, he, he's just at a heightened state of awareness right now. It's not even a feeding frenzy, it's just he's heightened because he just got fed. And when they are near their food source, when they're near, near food, he needs that speed to hunt it down. And when you moved backwards quick, that was a, a predatory response. He's like, wait, do I need to chase this? But he realized pretty quickly. That's why I appreciate monitor lizards. Their cognitive abilities are so much greater than many other reptiles. So let's just sit, let's see what he does. He's gonna go in that water. So cool to see him uh, interact with his environment like this. This is why I love reptiles. Um, why I moved down to Florida, so I could create large enclosures to watch the animals interact with their habitats. That's what's most exciting to me. It's not fun for me personally just to see an animal kind of hanging out in a very small enclosure. I wanna see them doing everything lizards should be doing. And that gives them more of that ability to be a lizard. It gives them more enrichment, which is very, very key for everything that we do here at the camp. It's my mission is to give these animals the best possible life so that I can share with you friends uh, all that they're capable of doing and inspire you to kind of build and create the same kind of habitats for your animals. You see how he's now looking around here. He's like, is there any food in here that I can kind of get to? So it's very, very cool to see that tongue work in the water, the alertness of my animal. This is a very healthy monitor lizard because he is able to do all the things that really uh, enhance all of his behaviors. It's so cool. And it gives me the ability to have probably the coolest lizard on YouTube, in my personal opinion. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think Sleeky's cool? Do you enjoy coming in here and hanging out with him? I love reptiles. I love seeing him dive. I love seeing him use that tongue underwater. I've seen him try to corral some of the sick with his tail. He is an awesome representation of the monitor lizard. And he's as close to a Komodo dragon as I'll possibly be able to get 
here in captivity, unless I go visit my friends again at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. But guys, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you think of what we did here today with Slinky. Do you like his habitat? Do you love seeing Slinky? If you're a new subscriber, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Slinky, guys? Thanks for joining us. And again, my longtime friends that have been coming back to watch these videos, thanks so much. I really do appreciate it. I love the fact that I get to share these videos with you and we get to see animals in the best possible light in captivity. Let's all be responsible with our animals and give them their best, their best chance at being as amazing as Slinky. I'll see you guys later. I'm getting lizard kisses.